morning, everybody, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. That's right, it's Day 5 already. Can you even believe it? But ready for another day, another vlog of who knows what. But I do know that it is resonating and connecting with all of you. I am having a blast. And isn't that all that really matters? So we are up, we are getting ready. I have the most enormous, soft, oversized sweater on. I still have my slippers on. It is 8 a.m. and I am just waking up. I slept probably 11, 11 hours, 12 hours last night, which is glorious. If you know me, I am up at 4, 4.15 almost every single morning. So about every couple of weeks, my body has this moment where I just like shut down and sleep, but I feel wonderful. But Danielle just texted me, we're gonna probably do a Target run, and then I have to go to the local dairy to pick up milk for the week, and I'll take you along with me. The candle holders that we picked up yesterday at that store called Breathe at Home, the small business highlighted on Saturday, they look so perfect here. So I just substituted out one of my flameless and put those in there. And I had two little jar candles from the white company that fit in there perfectly, but I love all the sparkle when they were lit, they were gorgeous. Let's take a minute to admire our tree. The ribbons were the right, right call. Also, tons of positive feedback around this wide angle that you guys can all see a lot more and the car footage from yesterday. Steven is about to eat his breakfast. What's for breakfast today? Uh, pumpkin bagel. He eats a bagel every single day. Soft bagel from lunch. With two cups of coffee. Uh, just usually one, but two if I'm, I'm feeling On good. the weekends, too, typically. Uh, yeah, I'd say, yeah. So. Can you believe I slept that long? No, that's something that, that is in my wheelhouse. <laughs> well, life is free. Give uh, it away, spread, spread it around. Spread it around. <laughs> Throw it around. Whatever you need to do, just live it. It's free. Uh oh, don't come over here. Hi, bubbies. He gets his two pieces. Good morning, sunshine. Yep, he gets two pieces of bagel, one piece from each half, and he knows it. He actually, Stephen believes, can count. He, can, he, he knows when, because he waits for the second. He eats the first one, and he waits for the second one, and then he's off. So, he knows. It's our, our morning ritual, even though he already ate breakfast. That is our morning and how we are starting it. So, I will catch up with you. I'm probably going to get dressed, confirm a time with Danielle. And then I'm gonna be off to Target and to the dairy to take care of stuff. We are in the car and on our way to meet Danielle, but first I wanna get my car washed. I am so stinking excited with how steady and clear the car footage was. Like this is a game changer. The angle is good, all of the things are amazing. I'm super, super pleased with it. I spent the morning doing one little thing I needed to get done for work and then really started going through some comments and DMs on Instagram, trying to answer all of them and also trying to see all the comments from Vlogmas Days, Vlogmas days 1, 2, 3, and 4. I can't believe it. I really, it's going too quickly. It needs to slow down. And one comment that I keep getting is how light and like my energy is palpable in all of those pieces. And that is something that has been a tr kind of a change and shift for me. It's funny that you guys are not the only ones saying it. My boss has mentioned it after meetings, how much lighter I feel and how much more relaxed I seem. My team notices it um, in the way I like interact with them and the way I walk around. I'm just a lot calmer. And I'm telling you what, friends, it has so much to do, for those who are new and just starting to follow, it has so much to do with what I went through in May. Uh, for those who don't know, I had binary pulmonary embolisms and a DVT in my right leg. I literally was essentially like crashing by the time I got to the ER and the doctor told me I had about 24 to 48 hours before I would have thrown the clot and not made it. It just has shifted my perspective around what I'm willing to worry about, what I'm willing to sweat, what I'm willing to get anxious about 
And do I still get nervous and anxious? Yes, but they're about like little isolated moments here and there. They're not just a constant feeling. I sleep so much better at night. There would be nights with Steven where I would not sleep at all. And he would be like, why can you not sleep? And I wouldn't even be able to articulate why. And that hasn't happened in a really long time. So I think having something so terrible happen that probably could have been the worst for my mental health has ended up being one of the best and has just shifted my perspective around so much. We have one life to live and I don't want to spend it being anxious and nervous about everything and everyone and all of that. That's one thing that I think has really contributed to the feeling that you sense of this lightness. We could talk more about it if it's something that interests you, how I've struck probably the best work-life balance I have in years and not in years ever. It's just, it's very, very different. It's very different. Target. But yeah, I think a lot of the shifts that you're seeing are just what I have implemented from all the lessons I've learned from what I've gone through. It was it was really scary and really eye-opening. And I'm just so appreciative to be here and have time and I'm just not willing to waste it worrying and being anxious. And I hope that's something that you all can move towards. It's just not worth it. And I think this idea of caring less has always been something that has seemed so like disrespectful in my eyes of not caring enough. And I find that it's not that I care less, it is simply that I care at different times. So I am willing to work really hard when I'm at work and care the most and stress the most about it and really hustle to get things done. But then when I leave work, I am willing to care less about it and quit for the day and sink into Steven and our life and things that I enjoy doing. And that perspective has really shifted. This year is the first time in my career that I have took a day off to do something fun. And that was to go on my little weekend trip with Laura. It is the first time I've taken a day to do something that wasn't an appointment of some kind, a move, being sick, having to take care of someone else. Like, I took a day just to do something that I knew would be enjoyable. And it is the biggest lesson I've learned of like, be unapologetic in taking those moments. And what's funny is this year that I have cared less or found more work-life balance is the year me and my team are being recognized and acknowledged for doing great work and we're also getting our best results post pandemic well i think we're still in it i don't know what is i don't actually know where we're at right now but we're getting our best results and i cannot not think that that plays a huge part in that all right we are going to get to target do all the things i might try to grab some footage while we're in there and then we will head off to the dairy after that we did a quick target run together actually it wasn't so quick it's now almost 11 o'clock but we walked through target i actually didn't buy anything except some wrapping paper and a calendar <laughs> i think i spent like 20 bucks oh i also picked up at the starbucks in there uh, a cup that i really liked like a holiday cup for water i picked that up now I am on the way to our local dairy to buy milk for the week and probably like a couple baked goods as well. I also have my glass milk jug to return. I love the fact that our milk comes in glass, that you return it, they give you cash back for it, and then I just always put it towards my next purchase of milk. But that is what is going on. And I should be there in a couple minutes and I'm just listening to some Christmas music on my Spotify playlist. It's linked down below if you want it. Also rocking some of my merch, got a compliment on it. Um, 
So if you want that, you can check that out down below as well. The temperature is sitting at a solid 33 degrees right now. It's pretty chilly out. And tomorrow we're supposed to get some major wind storms. So we shall see how that all shakes out. This week for filming is going to be kind of intense. I've been really trying to stick with like a 7 to 7.30 upload time. I don't think that's going to be possible this week. And here's the reason why. On Wednesday... On Wednesday, I have a holiday leader party dinner, and that's going to go later into the evening. Uh, I don't think that actually ends until 7. Then on Thursday, we have tickets to go see, I think, Pretty Woman on the Broadway touring series. So I have that Thursday night. So that's going to be a little challenging. But we will figure it out, and we will make all the things work. The good news is I am done with work on the 17th. So I will have a lots of free time to vlog. We have lots of plans. Uh, Steven and I have like a couple little day trips planned and things like that. So it's going to be a fun packed vlogmas, but I also am like doing the timeline in my head and I cannot believe how quickly the holidays and Christmas will be here. All right, I am going to keep singing at the top of my lungs, get to the dairy and then get home. I am back from Target. I bought this wrapping paper. I thought it was pretty cute. And I just bought two rolls because I don't need much wrapping paper this year. I picked up this calendar. I'm not in love with it, but it could use. I could use it at work if we don't use it for home. And then RX bars are kind of one of my travel things that I always have with me and in my work bag. And then I did pick up this holiday mug that I'm going to wash up and use. I just loved how bright and festive it was. And then I went to our local dairy for a couple groceries that I needed. I got us half and half some chicken noodle soup that we can have on hand. I got our milk. I got Steven some apple cider from a local farm. I got some ice cream. I wanted to try these mustards. I saw them there last time. One is a sweet maple mustard and one is a hot maple mustard. A pan loaf, a pepperoni for maybe throwing together a cheese tray this week. I also have been grabbing these, the sugar cookie protein balls. I'll sometimes like eat one right after a workout. I just really like them. And then I also grabbed a sausage, pepper, and onion quiche that they had. So just a few groceries. I picked up those things at Trader Joe's, so we should be pretty good for the week. I'm going to get that stuff all put away. And oh, I also didn't realize that we had an entire apple cider. Oh well. Lunch today, I am going to, look how beautifully that toasted. I'm going to add some of that leftover salad. I'm actually going to try to not get too much of the liquid from the bottom. And then I am just going to hit it with a little bit more balsamic, a pinch of salt, and some pepper. And that will be lunch. I am whispering because Bubba's and Steven are napping. I also just edited the first part of the vlog and it's already like 13 minutes. We're going to go ahead and open advent calendars. I'm gonna wrap this up so I can enjoy my evening and rest in my late afternoon. I'm gonna get a workout in. I'm gonna read some of Brene Brown's book that I'm loving. And yeah, it's gonna be a perfect Sunday for both of us, for all of us. So let's go ahead and open some advent calendars. Beekman 1802. Oh wait, I was opening four, but it's five. Oh, I love this because they give such good sized bars of soap. So this is the lavender um, goat milk soap. Their goat milk soaps are so incredible. Day five is right here. I didn't even have to look for it. It is an imperial rose candle. Sundays with rituals are typically candles and their candles are fantastic. Day five. Let's move this over here so we can get this open. So it's another mini bath bomb. What doggy do we meet this week? This is Bella. Lots of B names. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. We'll put Bella right there. Look at that little scene. All right, let's head to the pantry. On two, one, two. Pour some sugar on me. 
In the name of love. All right, what is day five? I can't tell what these are. We're gonna, they're gummies of some kind, but what are they? Oh, they are strawberry pacifiers. Also, what I called butterflies the other day were actually holiday presents. So, not even close. Have a holly dolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. I don't know if there'll be snow. Five is in this little corner down here. They're like little white gumdrops. All right. I love how this shelf turned out. Oh, it's so good. All right, I'm going to save David's tea. Also, you guys were very worried that we didn't give Bubba's his day four. That's because yesterday, Steven fed Bubba's so many treats that we skipped it. But he has already had day four. We'll give him day five after dinner today. But that's why you didn't see Bubba's get his, because Steven had already given him too many. Also, people asked what company this was from, this spice one, Le Compture Colonial. Here, I'll zoom in so you guys can see it. But I am excited. We might actually watch a movie tonight, and I might make the popcorn with that smoked salt that we got. All right, day five, day five. Down here. Day five is a green curry. I love a good curry powder. In all honesty, I think we're gonna call it a day before 2.30. And that way I can rest up, get ready for tomorrow. I will figure out the schedule for this week. It's going to be just a little tricky with the things that I have going on. But today's advent of kindness was to ask people about their highs and their lows from their day. So whatever you feel like sharing down below, please share and I'll respond to as many as I possibly can. And that's gonna be Stephen and I's discussion. I'm already thinking about my highs from my day, definitely spending time with Danielle, but also the feeling that I have from Vlogmas this year is definitely one of the highs. And I'm going to sign off like I always do. And we're gonna get it right the first time. <laughs> take care of yourself, take care of others and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye, friends.